Morning, Coach Huck. Morning. You got time for a few questions? Absolutely. Coach Huck, when you pull in and you see that scoreboard, what's that make you think about? Well, you know, the thing that jumps out to me are the people, you know, that have meant so much to me and have meant so much to Harding football when you start thinking about Dr. Jim City and Carl Allison, who was father-in-law of one of my teammates who played right beside me on the 76 championship team, Alan Jeter, uh, Jerry Moat, uh, you know, just how much those guys meant to Harding football. And, and it's great to come out and see that every day. Coach, what's the best part of your job? Best part of my job are the people I get to work with, without a doubt. My coaches, the players, uh, these guys, you know, keep me young. And uh, are, it's just unbelievable to get to come to work with that caliber of people every day. What's the hardest part of your job? The hardest part of my job is uh, when I feel like I've failed in reaching a young man uh, for the right things and, and, and being the kind of mentor that I want to be for him. What's your favorite movie, Coach? Uh, my favorite movie is anything in the Star Wars field. Did you have a nickname? Huck. That's what I've been since I was probably in the fourth grade. <laughs> what is your birth order? I am the oldest of three. What's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert is pretty much anything chocolate, but if you give me a, a, a fresh, out of the oven, gooey brownie with vanilla ice cream and hot faux sauce, I'm in heaven. Which historical figure would you have liked to have met? Well, obviously, when you talk about Jesus Christ, uh, but if you talk about a, 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 you know, like a U.S. historical figure, I'd love to have met Abraham Lincoln. If you can whistle a tune, which tune would it be? It'd be the theme to Andy Griffith. <laughs> What's your favorite scripture? My favorite scripture is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, uh, which we have on the, you know, the entrance into our locker room. And it just, you know, uh, sums up everything I think that we believe in in our program. Are you an early riser? I am. And the bad thing about it is I'm also a night owl, so I don't get much sleep. <laughs> Beatles or Rolling Stones? Beatles for sure. When, when I was in elementary school, uh, I rode the bus to school every day, and we played the radio. And I'll never forget being uh, uh, in the bus and listening to I Want to Hold Your Hand the first time it came out. And I was a Beatles fan and have been ever since. Last book you read? The last book I read was this morning. Uh, Peggy and I, my wife Peggy and I, have a habit of doing uh, Jesus Calling, which is a devotional booklet in the morning time, and, and uh, we really love do, doing that. Which, what coach would you like to have dinner with? Tom Landry, without a doubt. Describe Harding in a sentence. Uh, Harding is a little bit of heaven that I've been fortunate to be a part of for almost 40 years. What's been one of the biggest disappointments you've had as a coach or an athlete? Uh, probably the biggest disappointment as far as the season was concerned was the 2011 season, which I think we had a really good football team and we just didn't show it on the field. What other sport would you like to compete in if, if you didn't play football? Well, as a, as a kid, I played everything. I loved basketball, but r right now, uh, uh, golf without a doubt. I love playing golf. I love the competitive uh, singular aspect of it. Who's your biggest fan? My biggest fan is Peggy Huckabee, my wife. And the thing about that is she is not a big football person. She grew up in a, you know, just her and her sister, uh, was not around sports a whole lot, uh, but she is a huge husband fan and, and is a great sounding board for me. What do you feel like before you, a big game? Uh, I feel like my skin's on fire. And, you know, it's just the opportunity to go out there and compete. And, uh, you know, I have a, a, a very tight stomach, and uh, but it's a great feeling. It's, it's a feeling that athletes live for, basically, right before competition. What's your favorite Disney movie? My favorite Disney movie is Robin Hood, the old Robin Hood cartoon. Uh, and, you know, my family, we can just about quote that movie for you. Favorite food? My favorite food, if you give me a really good hamburger with some french fries, I I'll take that all day long. Favorite candy? Probably Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and that's bad. How are you most like your mom? Uh, my mom was a very fiery person, uh, and she didn't suffer fools very 
well and I'm afraid that, that I inherited that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite hobby and why? My favorite hobby is anything outdoors, you know, and, and the way that translates for me pretty much is fishing and playing golf. I love being in nature. I love to hear the sounds. I, I love to see the beautiful water. I love to catch a trout in the Little Red River. Uh, you know, it's just, I just really connect with nature with those two hobbies. Coach, we appreciate you taking some time with us this morning, and uh, have a great day. Thank you very much. All right.